impact of climate change, the production of Arabica coffee is declining. Sadly, this is a challenge that many producers are facing today. And back in 2019, when I visit Don Rigoberto Herrera from Cafe Gran Hel Esperanza, Colombia, he explained to me that his mission to overcome this challenge is to explore new coffees with exceptional cow profile and a high yield. And he did it. And today, I have the pleasure to brew for you one of his creations. This coffee, it's a hybrid called CGLE 17 and is processed naturally with a six days anaerobic fermentation to highlight the tropical characteristic. It's also a cross between a geisha and a katura. And let me tell you, when I first tried this coffee, I was so surprised how delicious it was. It combined the best of both varieties, the yellow fruit characteristic of the geisha with the coating mouthfeel characteristic of the katura, something me personally, I never experienced before. This also resulted in unusual higher density comparing with the geisha and katura from the same farm, which resulting in me roasting this coffee with a gentle 30 second soak at the beginning, finishing with a 16% development and a 210 degrees Celsius and temperature. This roasting technique allow me to develop a sweetness that is, and please write down, a medium plus intensity from hot to cold. When hot will remind me of chocolate cherry like sweetness. And as it colds, it remind me of guava like sweetness. Judges, to get the best expression out of my coffee, I'm using the Orea V4 dripper, made out of polypropylene. The thermostability of this plastic material give me the best possible structure in the cup, from hot to warm to cold. It also comes with four different bases. Each base can be applied on the body of the brewer, and each base having a different flow. And today, I'm using the open base. This base will turn my brewer into a hybrid, like my coffee, because it will give me a central flow that will highlight the sweet acidity, like a conical dripper. Also highlighting creamy mouthfeel and also tropical sweetness, like a flat bed dripper. I'll combine it with the Seabury's Fast Flow paper filter for a cleaner aftertaste. This will allow me to grow a little bit finer, around 500 microns, to highlight a creamy, after, a creamy mouthfeel as the cup cools. As for the water, after many tests, I found out that the ratio 3 to 1 hardness to alkalinity with a total TDS of 80 ppm will allow me to get the best fruity characteristic out of my coffee. Now, let's talk a little bit about brewing. The re recipe that I'm using today is 15 grams of, 50 grams of coffee with 240 mils of water. With a, to with a temperature of 93 degrees, alternated between two kettles for a better thermostability. I will divide the total amount in four equal pours, each pour of 60 grams every 45 seconds, allowing the water to totally drain before my next pour. Dills will increase the extraction power of my water and together with my brewing ratio will allow me to extract all possible sweetness and complexity in my coffee. Judges, your first experience with my coffee will be the aroma. And you will smell, and please write down, a medium plus intensity 
of melon, cherry, and dark chocolate. When warm, we will get a medium plus intensity of flavors of cherry, guava, and melon. The cherry will follow in the aftertaste. With a medium plus intensity, medium lasting, and sweet. When warm, you will get flavors of guava, melon, and pineapple. Keeping the same intensity as when it was hot. Also, the guava will follow in the aftertaste. Keeping the same length, intensity, and sweetness. When the cup is cold, we will get a medium plus intensity of red apple, medium plus correction of flavors, red apple, guava, and pineapple. The red apple will follow in the aftertaste with a medium plus intensity, lingering and sweet. The acidity, when hot, is medium plus intensity, fruity and sweet, reminding me of guava acidity. As it cools, it becomes medium intensity. Still fruity and sweet, but this time remind me of melon and pineapple-like acidity. Judges, the mouthfeel, this is the, my favorite part of this coffee. It's medium plant's intensity when hot, and it's very juicy. As it cools, it becomes medium to high intensity, creamy, and juicy. Very coating in your mouth. To get the best expression out of this aroma, please evaluate them directly from the cutoffs. And after I'm gonna pass it to you, stroll a couple of times, bring it closer to your nose to lift up these beautiful aromas. Enjoy. Enjoy. Thank you for waiting. Now, judges. For the rest of the attributes, please evaluate them. But most importantly, enjoy them directly from the cups, as those cups are specifically designed to enhance your sensory experience. The curl lip, we give with each sip the right amount of liquid in the cup, increasing the flavor intensity. The color pink will increase your perception of ripe fruits. Judges, the production of Arabica coffee is declining. But I truly believe a coffee like this one has the power to change our industry. And together with producers like Don Rigoberto Herrera that always looking for new coffees with exceptional cup profile and a high yield, together as a community, I believe we can push our industry forward. I am Daniel and it was such a pleasure to brew this lovely coffee for you today. Please enjoy. Time. <laughs>